So we're going to talk a little bit about hypothesis tests and confidence intervals and how they're related. We're going to do this all for um, one numeric variable and a mean. And we're going to look at a two-sided hypothesis test using an alpha of 5% and a two-sided confidence interval using 95% confidence. So just a reminder, hypothesis test, we assume that the population mean is equal to some null value. We calculate some test statistic, which tells us how far is the estimate from that hypothesized value. And then we get some p-value, and we compare that to our alpha to help us decide should we reject our null or not. Do we have evidence to believe that mu naught is not the true population mean? In confidence intervals, we take our estimate and we tack on a margin of error to that. Okay, so either way, we collect some data and then we might test the hypothesis or we might build a confidence interval for it. So first, let's talk a little bit about hypothesis testing. So here, we start with the sampling distribution, right? And again, this helps us describe if the null hypothesis is true, okay, what's the distribution of all the sample means or sample estimates we could get? So here's what we expect the sample mean to be. We know it's going to vary a bit. Okay? Then we calculate some test statistic. Suppose that the sample mean we got was here. We're going to end up standardizing this or calculating a test statistic and a resulting p-value, which is going to tell us how likely were we to get this estimate or one more extreme. Okay, in the case of doing the two-sided hypothesis test, we're looking at the question, how often will we see a deviation this large in absolute value? How often will we get an estimate this far or further from the hypothesized mean? All right, so again, this shaded area here is what we call our p-value. And we compare that p-value to some alpha. If the p-value is larger than alpha, we fail to reject our null. If it's smaller than alpha, we reject our null. You can notice in hypothesis testing, mu naught, this here, is our point of reference. So all the statements we're making are looking at how does, how does our estimate compare to a null hypothesis? Because that's our point of reference. When looking at a confidence interval, what we do is we go, so let's just extend these downward. We go from our estimate and we tack on a margin of error. Minus roughly two standard errors plus roughly two standard errors. We can see here, okay, for confidence intervals, the sample estimate, here the sample mean, is our point of reference. So if we want to use the confidence interval as a hypothesis test, we can check, does the null value fall within that confidence interval? Okay. If the null hypothesized value falls within the confidence interval, okay. then the p-value is always going to be larger than that alpha of 5%. If the null hypothesized value was outside of the confidence interval, the p-value is going to end up being less than 5%. Okay. So the two of these, the hypothesis test or the confidence interval, are always going to agree in the conclusion you reach, provided that both of them are two-sided, and your test is using an alpha of 5%, your confidence interval, 95% confidence. So my personal opinion on these is that I think it's best to um, report both of them. Okay. The p-value gives us some idea of the strength of the evidence against the null. Right, so how, how confident are we in saying that we think the mean to the true mean is different from some null value? Um, while the, I guess, confidence interval gives you a range of plausible values for the population mean or the population value. Okay, so we did it in the context of one mean here, but these concepts apply to most of the confidence intervals we'll be able to look at. Okay. Looking at a confidence interval is going to help us reach the same conclusion that a hypothesis test would. And they get at the, the exact same concept from slightly different points of reference. One of them looking at the hypothesized value as our focal point, 
and the confidence interval looking at our estimate as the focal point. Hope you guys liked the video. Stick around guys, because we got lots more. Statistics is almost as yummy as chocolate.